All right, so today I'm going to be testing Steam Link. Um, as you can see, the phone's right there. Let me make sure I turn off all my other devices. Give me one sec. All right, good to go. Put my switch back over there. All right. So the uh, computer that's playing the game is just right behind the, uh, the phone. Uh, you can see the laptop, it's all right there. I just wanted to do this so you could have kind of a comparison to you know, what's going on on the phone and on the PC at the same time. Um, using Left 4 Dead as sort of a high frame rate game to test it. And uh, the computer that I'm using here is a uh, Asus. It's an Asus. Um, I think it's an NJ550K. Features an i7 4700HQ GTX 850M, and I've upgraded mine to 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is my laptop. <laughs> my desktop's uh, over there. It's got an RX 580 and. Um, an i5-4430, but I figured, you know, it's better to do this on a laptop, Sorry, folks. This car is capable so that way you can see the uh, game behind and game up front, you can have a direct comparison for yourself, walking. and I'm playing through the you viewfinder. We'll find another way to know and uh, I think it runs pretty good. You know, there's only a very, very slight delay. If you're running at 30 FPS, you wouldn't even notice the delay. The router is, um... The router is not that far away. It's only, I'd say, maybe... 15 meters. But uh, I only have, I think, 150 uh, MBS. Um, up and then like maybe a hundred down or vice versa. I can't exactly remember and Then the uh, mobile phone I'm using to do this is a Samsung Galaxy a50 oh, shoot. But yeah, Samsung Galaxy a50. I have the uh, American 4 gigabyte version or the uh, US 4 gigabyte version not a 60 And And uh, when I'm exclusively looking at the uh, mobile phone screen, I'm totally unhindered by playing this game, you know, there's zero, I mean, I wouldn't say there's zero latency, but there's very little latency, it doesn't seem to, um, inhibit my ability to play the game. Seems to be running pretty smoothly, seems like it's a 60 hertz refresh rate on the, uh, the mobile device's screen. So this is just my average uh, network latency speed test. Uh, for those of you who maybe have not used Steam Link before, I'd be curious about it. I uh, wanted to know what sort of speeds you'd see if you had the average American home internet. I don't know if I have the average, but you know, 150 MBS up, 100 down, I believe. And I'm pretty impressed. Oh, I saw the witch. Fuck, where is she? Oh, she's right there. Oh, I'm scared. Pardon my French. I didn't mean to stay. Someone gonna save me? Please? You can see the... The, uh... Oh, you know me. The uh, monitor is just barely, just a couple seconds ahead. Um, just barely a couple seconds ahead. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Than the cell phone. And uh, if I was playing this, let's say with a with a Bluetooth controller, and uh, I was in the other room, or let's say I'm across the country or whatever, I don't think I noticed the latency difference. I think that I would feel. Uh, probably quite a bit better than somebody, let's say, playing this game on the Xbox 360. Come on, I'm gonna walk away. Let's play a little bit more so you guys can get 
some more comparisons between the two. Oh, there's a hunter right there. Sometimes the audio cuts out. I'm not exactly sure what that's about. But I don't know if you just saw, but I, I believe that the uh, stream encoder has just barely switched from, uh, like, I believe maybe 480p or 720p down to, like, 360p on the phone. You can see the resolution uh, fluctuates a little bit. Oh, Get away from me. Oh, shoot. Leave me alone. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this uh, small little latency test for uh, Steam Link. It's a free application. It's very well worth it. It's a lot like um, Remote Play for the PlayStation Vita PS4. So if you uh, own a gaming computer, or you own any computer with Steam, and you have a, a smart device that you'd like to stream it to, download the app. It's free. Um, try it out now. It works great. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.